Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by RC Experts here at Hobby. I'm your host, Brad Brooker. In today's video, we're going to walk through the steps on how to hook up your large scale safety kill switch by Dynamite. Before we get started, we need to touch on a few items. The kill switch itself will only work with Magneto style engines, it will not work with CDI style. So, again, Magneto only. Also, you need a three channel receiver and transmitter to operate the switch correctly, so make sure you have that. Another cool little feature built into the actual switch itself, it does have low voltage cutoff. On the back side of the switch, you have four different settings. You have six volts, five volts, four volts, and no protection. You change your setting by the plugs on the outside of the switch itself. Now let's walk you through the steps of installing the switch. First, you'll start by removing the kill switch harness itself. You'll replace it with the one that comes with the new switch. So we're going to pull the harness off. Once you have that off, you also remove it from the actual engine itself. When it comes time to plug the new harness in, please make sure you have a positive and negative on the coil itself. You need one of each. So go ahead and plug that in. So once you have that, you want to grab your switch again. You'll remove the old harness from the switch. Also, when you're plugging the new harness in, please make sure you have a positive and negative on this one as well. So once you have that plugged in, your wire harness is all set up. You'll want to run the wire harness itself outside the engine safely. We're going to go back behind the fan trout. Go and grab your plug for your wire harness. You'll plug this into your kill switch itself. Make sure you have the right polarity, red to red, black to black. Once you have that plugged in, you'll plug your actual switch into your third channel or auxiliary channel. Make sure you have the right polarity with that as well. Go and plug your battery into your receiver. Go and turn your transmitter on. So your next step is to make sure your LED light that you see here is outside the vehicle. You want to make sure you be able to see this. This will actually indicate when you have spark or no spark. Uh, if you see the light is off, you have no spark. So that means it will not fire. Once you hit your auxiliary channel, once the red light is lit up, it'll indicate your engine has spark now. Well, there you have it. That's how you install the large scale safety kill switch by Dynamite. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and local videos from RC Experts Horizon Hobby.